and here it goes guys all right whoa 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 look at <laughs> hey what's up youtube i'm zeke and welcome to the dream green show this episode is brought to you by weeble sign up now by using the link down in the description and get two free stocks when you deposit 100 dollars valued up to 1400 dollars. i did it myself and got about 30 dollars worth of free stocks so you guys can check that out with the link down in the description in this video, we're gonna compare three different powerhouses when it comes to telecommunication. We're gonna compare AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. And quick spoiler alert, one of these companies is not like the other. So make sure that you stick to the end of this video when we do our back testing to see which company might be the best for you to invest in. This one is kind of cloudy, so it's all depending on your investing style, but if you stick to the end, you might actually find out which is best for you. Before we dive into the video, make sure that you guys hit that thumbs up button. It just takes a half second out of your day to just hit that thumbs up, and it really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. It really helps me out tremendously, guys, just by hitting the thumbs up button. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. All right, guys, here we are over on Seeking Alpha. This is where we are beginning our statistics from when we do our back testing. The three companies that we're going to be comparing is telecommunication companies, cell phone providing companies, and some of these uh, companies provide internet provider services. So let's take a look at the three that we're going to be comparing. The first one we're going to be looking at is Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. The next one that we're going to be looking at is one of my favorites so far is AT&T tickle symbol t and the last one that we we're going to be looking at is t-mobile t-m-u-s they just merged with sprint i wanted to do it with sprint i did not know they had a merger not too long ago but t-mobile merged with sprint so we're going to be taking a look at t-m-u-s so let's take a look at verizon tickle symbol vz right now their price is at 58 dollars 79 at the recording of this video Verizon is a dividend stock. Over the last 13 years, they have increased their dividends every single year for the last 13 years. They pay out quarterly. That means every three months, they have a dividend yield of 4.18%. That is a pretty good dividend yield for any company having 4.18% dividend yield. So that means they pay out around 61 cents for every share that you have. That's how much you would get paid quarterly for owning just one share of Verizon. So if you add that up over time and have about 100, then 200, then 300 shares of Verizon, you'll end up making quite a bit in dividends income annually. The next one that we're gonna look at is AT&T, tickle symbol T. This is one of my favorite. This is one that I've been promoting on my YouTube channel for a while that I love to invest into. So hopefully when we do our testing, AT&T does very well. Um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so the reaction on my face will be a surprise uh AT&T is at $30.01 so right above $30 this one is also a dividend paying stock that has increased their dividends over the last 36 years guys over the last 36 years AT&T have increased their dividends making them dividend aristocrats all right that means you have to be inside the S&P 500 and also increase your dividends over the last 25 years so AT&T has increased this for 36 years if they increase it for the next couple of years or so they can become dividend kings. Dividend kings is when you increase your dividends over the last 50 years, and it's also inside the S&P 500. So I believe that it's their goal to be, become a dividend king. So you can see AT&T increasing their dividends over the next 10, 14 years or so, okay guys? They also pay out quarterly, and they have a dividend yield of 6.93%, even higher than Verizon, guys. Uh, 6.93 is one of the reasons that I love AT&T. I receive um, dividend payments from AT&T every quarter, and I'm loving their stock. AT&T also pays out 52 cents per share worth of dividends. I'm gonna show you guys my dividend payments from AT&T at the end of this video so you guys can understand completely what I'm talking about. And the last one we're going to look at is T-Mobile, tickle symbol T-M-U-S. Now this was the one that I was saying one of these companies is not like the other because T-Mobile do not pay a dividend. Sprint 
did pay a dividend. That's the company that they merged with. Uh, I think T-Mobile bought them out, but T-Mobile do not pay a dividend. I wanted, it, I wanted to do one with them comparing it with Sprint because they had a dividend payment, but we might as well go on ahead and pair these three telecommunication powerhouses in the United States to each other. Two of them have dividends, one of them do not. Could it even hang with the other two because it don't have a dividend payment? We will find out in this video. But this company, T-Mobile, is at $115.49 at the recording of this video. Let's dive in a little deeper on each of these companies and look at their earnings. All right, so here we are on the summary of each of the companies. The first one we're gonna look at is Verizon. If we scroll down, we wanna look at their revenue. So Verizon, um, December 2019, their revenue was $131 billion on December 2019. If we're looking at AT&T, let's scroll down. AT&T was $181 billion, so it's way higher than um, Verizon. So AT&T had the highest revenue with $181 billion. And we look at T-Mobile and scroll down. T-Mobile had a revenue of just $45 billion. So right now, T-Mobile is not um, in the same league as AT&T or Verizon compared to their revenue. If we scroll down a little bit more over on Verizon, Verizon on the three, six, and nine month chart, that was up three months, 7%, six months, 0.5%, and then nine months, they were down 1% on the year, they're up 5.51%. Underperforming the S&P 500, the S&P 500 is up 18.74% to date. Let's look at AT&T compared to the S&P 500. AT&T was up 5%, down 21%, down 22%, and on the year, they're down 11.97%. And also underperforming the S&P 500, which is up 18.74%. Now let's take a look at T-Mobile. I suspect that it's pretty good because they did have a merger this year with Sprint. Whenever that happens, that's pretty good news. Okay, so T-Mobile, I was correct. It's up on the three months, 21%, six months, 19%, and nine months of 50%. On the year, they're up 50.12% outperforming the S&P 500, which is at 18.74%. So T-Mobile is outperforming the S&P 500 mainly because of the merger they had with Sprint. Let's take a look at the earnings report right quick and then we'll go into back testing these three companies. All right, so here we are on Verizon. They beat their earnings by three cents. Well, their estimate earnings was $1.21. The actual was $1.18. I'm not sure why it says it's up three cents somewhere, but so the actual revenue was $30 billion, $30.45 billion. That is Verizon. Let's take a quick look at AT&T. AT&T estimated earnings was 77 cents. Actual was 83. They beat theirs by four cents. Their actual revenue was $40.95 billion. So in, in terms of revenue, theirs was better than Verizon. And if we take a look at T-Mobile, uh, their estimated revenue was 42 cents. Their actual was 84, um, beat expectations by 69 cents. And their actual revenue was $17.67 billion. So those are the quick and rough numbers right there. Let's go ahead and back test these three to see how would they have performed over the last 10 years. All right, here we are over on the portfolio visualizer. We're gonna do year to year. We're gonna do from 2010 all the way to 2020. So the last 10 years. Include year to date, yes. Let's say we invested $10,000 back in 2010. What would happen in 2020? Cash flow, none. No rebalancing. Display income, yes. And we are going to reinvest our dividends. That's the whole point of this. Um, none. Portfolio names. Let's get to that. The first one that we're going to type in is Verizon VZ. The second one is AT&T. And the last one is T-Mobile. All right. Portfolio number one, we're going to put 100%. 100% for portfolio number two and 100% for portfolio number three, which is TMUS. We're gonna go in and rename these portfolios. The first one is Verizon, AT&T, let's change that. And then the last one is T-Mobile. All right, 
So when I hit analyze this portfolio, this is gonna show us if we invested $10,000 back in 2010 into each of these companies and how would it have performed over 10 years and where, how much money would we have now in 2020 if we invested $10,000 back in 2010 while also reinvesting our dividends. Now remember, T-Mobile do not have dividends, so we're gonna see how this plays out. Analyze portfolio. And here it goes, guys. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at T-Mobile. I know they had a merger, but I mean, the merger would have counted right here and shot up right there, but oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, so Verizon, if you invested $10,000 back in 2010, you have $30,000. AT&T, oh my goodness. Okay, AT&T, you will only have $19,000. You would not have even doubled your money. Wow, okay, this is new insight. In T-Mobile, my goodness, you will have $87,661 if you invested $10,000 back in 2010. Now, on the chart, the only time that T-Mobile dipped below these three companies was back in 2012, you would have been down um, to $7,929. But besides that, since, ever since 2014, you will have outperformed AT&T and Verizon every single year since 2013. That is insane. But let's look at the dividends. That's what, you know, we're all about. Okay. So in 2010, we would have made $611 from dividends from Verizon and $614 in dividends from AT&T. T-Mobile does not pay dividends. Back in 2013, T-Mobile had a special dividend, which paid out $2,661. Um, Verizon, you would have got $800 and AT&T $779. And by 2019, you'll be bringing in over $1,000 from Verizon and over $1,000 from AT&T from dividends alone, just by investing $10,000 into the stock market in 2010. But, Man, do di whoo wee. I know I love getting dividends. If I'm going to continue to invest just for dividends, I'm thinking um, Verizon might be the better choice because right now I'll be having $30,000 worth in my portfolio instead of $19,000. Even though AT&T do have the higher dividend yield, Verizon is still, it's not, it don't have a low dividend yield. It's at four, that's pretty high. And I will also have a lot more money in my final balance than I would have AT&T. And I'll still be making around the same in dividends every single year from investing into Verizon. So AT&T is not looking too good right now. But like you guys already know, what if you buy the dip? What if you buy the dip? So let's go back in and change this and, and buy and reinvest into it every single month other than one lump sum. And we're going to buy the dip every single month. All right. So we're going to change this to $1,000. Let's say back in 2010, we only had $1,000 to invest and we're gonna change it to fixed amount, change our cash flow to on my channel. If you guys subscribe to my channel, you will know I invest $200 every single week into the stock market. So that adds up to around $800 a month. So let's type in 800, change it from annually to monthly. So there it goes. So once I hit analyze portfolio, this is me investing just $1,000 back in 2010 but also investing $800 every single month into each stock for the next 10 years. So let's click analyze portfolio to see if that makes any kind of difference. Here we go, we're gonna scroll down. Whew, all right, <clears throat> wow, all right. So with Verizon, we'll have $187,000. With AT&T, we'll have $137,000. And with T-Mobile, TMUS, we'll have almost half half a million dollars almost half a million dollars we have four hundred twenty five thousand dollars all right so the worst year verizon ever had was down three percent that is very consistent that is a company that's very consistent if your worst year was down three percent i can invest in you that mean i don't have to worry about much over the last 10 years your worst year was down three percent that's not bad all right, AT&T worst year was down 22% and T-Mobile worst year outweighed all of them by being down 31%. The best year Verizon had was 22% and 
the best year AT&T had was 45% and the best year T-Mobile had was up 110%. So that's amazing. If we take a look at the chart again, over here, you guys can see the only time that uh, T-Mobile was down was back in 2012. And from 2013 on, T-Mobile outperformed AT&T and Verizon ever since. And they almost have four times the amount of money in their final balance than AT&T. So this is really, really weighing on me about me investing into AT&T guys. With as much as AT&T if I have, let's go ahead and dive into my Robinhood portfolio to show you guys what I might end up doing with my AT&T stock. All right, here we are YouTube in my Robinhood account. I have around 15 shares, $450 worth of AT&T in my Robinhood account. I am down $42.27 and it's around 2% worth of my portfolio. Let's take a look at the dividends I've been receiving from AT&T. All right, so today I receive around five dividend payments from AT&T. I started off getting $2.04 when I only have four shares to $5.61 to $9.88. I had 19 shares, $4.68 and $6.76 with 13 shares. So I'm back to 15 shares of AT&T. I might end up selling five and buying T-Mobile and then selling five more and buying Verizon, okay? And then from here on out, I might actually just continue to invest into Verizon and T-Mobile because those historically over the last 10 years have been outperforming AT&T. Do I think AT&T is going to pick up in the future? I do think that they have a lot of stuff planned with that streaming and the optic fiber cables for internet. That's what I have inside my house. I do that. Th I do think they have a lot planned in the future. So I don't think AT&T is the worst company by far. They have a great dividend yield. Can they catch up by being innovative and in what they're going to do in the future? Yes, I do believe they can. But at the moment, until they catch up, I'm going to be investing into Verizon and T-Mobile and every now and then I'll pick up an AT&T stock until they catch up with their competition. So you guys in the comment section, go down and let me know which company would you invest into, which one of the powerhouse cell phone providing companies would you be interested into picking up? Let me know down in the description. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. Trust me, when I say it helps out this channel more than you can imagine, <laughs> it helps out this channel more than you can imagine, really, just by hitting the thumbs up button. And also subscribe if you guys wanna see other videos just like this in the future. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace. The subscribe button probably right here. Yep. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and I'm gone. Bye.